everyone, this is Coach D. Today we're up close because we're talking about how to deal with difficult parents. Now, number one, before we get started, I need you to take a breath. Before you write that text, that email, you go face to face. Remember, it's not personal. This is flag football. We're creating an awesome, fun experience for everyone. So take a breath, maybe five breaths, okay? Now you're ready. Look, the only thing that you can control is your response, the way you act in this situation. Whenever I'm dealing with a difficult parent, I'm gonna go back to my expectations. So it's important to set your expectations during your meet and greet so you can refer to them later. A couple things I talk about during my meet and greet to make sure I can dampen any concerns later on. Number one, rotations. I give a high level about my rotations. Look, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that every player has the opportunity to get out there on the field and make an impact. If we see that someone has a strength in a specific position, I might keep them in. I might develop that strength. Now that's especially for fourth plus, okay? But I'm gonna do everything we possibly can to make it a fun experience for everyone. Also, we have a game plan for every game. If things change, we're gonna make adjustments. That means a player is hot, we might keep them in. Player is struggling, we might take them out. So rotations are something that we're very thoughtful about. So I wanna make sure we have a priority for every single player to have an awesome experience, and that's what we're focused on, number one. Number two, show up, practice hard, give 100% effort, and that's how you can ensure that you get out on that field as much as possible. If you're not at practice, I can't put you in the game as much as I want to because I don't know your strengths, your weaknesses, where we should fit you into the game plan. So make sure you're here. Also, make sure when you are here, you're prepared. Come on time and make sure that you have your cleats on, your belt on, your flags, everything is ready to go so that we can get you going immediately. So what that does is it sets the stage for later on when somebody says, my kid is not playing enough or my kid is upset because, right? And then I look at it, they're always late to practice, they miss practices, right? Then I can go back and say, I wanna, I wanna put them in as much as possible, but I don't know their strengths because they're always late. They're never at practice. So I can't put them in as much as I possibly can. Now, if we can get them to practice on time, if we can get them prepared, if I know that they're, they're trying their hardest, they're putting in that effort, then that gives me the opportunity to put them on the field more often. So if we can work together on that, right? And now what I'm doing is I'm building a partnership. Dealing with parents is all about a partnership, whether it's you want your, your son or daughter to play more, and so do I, so let's, right, plan of action, or they're not putting in effort, I come to you and I say, is it okay if I am a little bit tough on Chris today? because I'm seeing no effort, I'm seeing disrespect, all that. I'm gonna be a bit, a bit tough on them today, is that okay? Yes, that's a partnership. I go right to them. If I'm seeing little effort, then I'm going to have a conversation with the player and I'm gonna include the parent after. So it, it sounds like this. Look, I know you're a leader out here. I see it, I can feel it, but you're not giving everything that you've got. And I'll listen, is there something going on? Is there something, are you, are you hurting? And most of the time it's just, I don't feel like it, right? So I'll call them out on that. We need you here, we need you to step up. That type of language usually brings out the best in a player. And then I go to the parent and I say, look, I just talked to Chris, I know he's a leader. I know he wants to be out here, but he's not showing it. I've asked him to step up as a leader. And I'd love for you to be part of that. Whatever you can do to encourage him to, to step up and be a leader, that's what we're looking for. But next week, I can't put him in as much as I want unless I see a complete turnaround. Cool? Those are the kind of conversations I'm having with parents. Another thing I address during meet and greet, I want you all here during every single game, but we gotta make sure that we are encouraging and we are creating a fun, safe environment for all kids involved, both on our team and the other team. So throughout the, the season, if someone is screaming, yelling, talking to the ref, talking to the other coaches, yelling at players, anything, then I will address that right after the game. 
I'll go right to them and say, Bob, love having you out here. Remember during our, our expectations, we talked about that, that fun, safe environment for both teams. Your energy is awesome, but we can't be out here yelling at the other players. We can't be talking to the refs, to the other parents on the other side. That just creates a little bit of anxiety for everyone. And then I give them something to do, right? Can't just tell them what they're doing wrong. I have to redirect them to what I want them to do. Come to me. If you see something out there, the ref made a bad call or you're not getting what, what you think should be happening, come to me, talk to me, tell me. If it's excessive, then I can address that. But if they come to me, if they have that outlet, come to me. Come to me right before the game, come to me after the game, that is okay. 100%, but we can't have, so I like that language, we can't have, right? And then I'll go up to them after the game, that next game and say, thank you so much for your positive energy today. Man, what a turnaround. And your player played so well because of this, that, and the other, right? I'll be very, very specific. So I'm giving them the attention that they're hungry for, but I'm doing it in a very positive way, directing them to what they should be doing. If a parent complains, but they don't come to you directly, I personally like to go to them directly. I usually do it in person, but sometimes I'll call or I'll email just so that I directly approach the issue. And my wife talks about this 80-20 rule. I'm gonna talk 20%. I'm gonna ask questions. I'm gonna let them talk 80%. And I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna ask questions. So I'm talking about 20%. And then I'm gonna address it. First of all, I appreciate you coming to me. I appreciate you saying it. I appreciate you being candid with me. You know, we're all learning. We're all trying to make this an awesome experience. So thank you so much for your support. And then here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we can do. How about if we do this and we come up with a solution together? And then, very important, I'm gonna email my coordinator, my, my director of the league, whoever my point of contact is, just so that I have a very clear outline of that conversation and I'm gonna send it right over. Now what I usually do is I send an agreement to the parent, here's what we discussed, please acknowledge, they say yes, this is what, what I'm gonna do, this is what you're gonna do, boom, and then we send that off to the league. Now on the positive side, when I wanna get a parent involved, let's say I'm coaching by myself or I only have one assistant, they are great for putting on flags, handing off the ball, being an extra body on defense, get them out there and have some fun. Be very specific on the direction. Here's what you're doing today. That's it. If you are trying to get them to be an assistant, let them know that you will tell them exactly what to do. You have the game plans, not any additional effort. They're just going to step on the field. You'll have everything that they need. They just have to have a positive attitude and want to make an impact in their community. That's it, keep it simple. Look, I hope these tips have been helpful. If you have a specific incident or question, either put the comment down below or you can reach out to me anytime and I will always respond. I'll give you exactly what to say, how I have done it in the past, and it usually works out great. All right, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.